Want to know what the big news is here on FYH today? That would be drywall. That's right, friends and neighbors. My dream home finally has some walls. Join me today and I'll take you on a tour of all my new spaces. If you've ever been involved in a major renovation, then you know how exciting it is to finally get walls. Once the drywall goes up, things really start to take off. I started renovating this 29-year-old ranch months ago. We spent weeks developing the new layout and months tearing it apart and then putting it back together. We have completely rearranged almost every inch of this house. We started with this, and we are quickly working our way to this. With the help of our contractor, Andrew Roby, and designer, Janine Devaney, it is going to be fantastic. Let's take a look around at the progress we've made so far. This is the new kitchen space in the house, big, open, and airy. This is going to be the new laundry room and creativity center where I can do designing and crafts, and of course, a little bit of laundry. The new master bedroom suite is just perfect. Big, open spaces with new doors and new windows, I think every part of this house is going to be exactly the way I had dreamed it would be. We've installed new doors and windows, and behind the walls is all new plumbing, electrical, insulation, and low-voltage wiring for cable, internet, and sound systems, and much, much more. Today I'm meeting with Janine to review the cabinet layouts that she's designed. Hey, Janine, how you doing, darling? Hey, Vicki, it's good to see you again. Good to see you, too. Well, I'm so excited, you know, I've got walls up. I don't know what to do with myself. It's so exciting. Well, it's really fun to see the walls in, the, in their new locations really begin to look like the house I envisioned. I know, I can almost move in here, but I'm not quite. <laughs> I see that you have brought new designs for me to look at for the kitchen. Absolutely, well, you approved the layout. Now it's time to look at the, uh, the cabinet elevations that I've designed so that you can actually get a sense of how you're going to use each uh, work station. Okay. Um, as you know, you know, we have the, the main focal point is this um, angled wall over here, and uh -huh. I typically will do that with a, um, design that with a pr the professional range and the overbuilt cabinet. Um, the overall look that I'm, I'm envisioning for you is using a custom cabinet and doing the beaded inset because that's really going to give you that upscale, new um, urban look. So this will all be custom built? Yes, they're all custom built, um, wood construction, soft closed doors and drawers. It's going to be fabulous. Okay. But um, as, you, as you're looking at the range area here, you've got good counter space on either side for uh -huh. your pots and pans. I've taken the cabinets all the way to the ceiling. Oh, I love Also that. with the glass cabinet doors at uh -huh. the top so that you you don't just feel like a sense of door, 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 but you've, uh, you've got some breakup yeah, of the door and, so and glass. Yeah, so many silver pieces. I'd like to put those up in yeah, there. Yeah, that'd be nice. awesome. So we have that, and uh, then we've got the windows here that go all the way down to the countertop, so you have full view to the outside. It's I know. Really that was just one of the few features I said, mm -hmm. i got to have that, is down to the counter. I've been seeing that, and I like that look. And as you can see here, we do have a double trash can pullout, which one would be for, for recycling. recycling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the, the kitchen actually ends here at the refrigerator. Um, that way, it, we've got sort of a natural break between the kitchen and the breakfast room. And on the, on the right side of the refrigerator, we've, I've designed a kind of a china hutch with an arched uh, motif with the Ooh, glass, like which kind of replays the, some of the other arches in the house. Not only that, but you'll be actually be able to see um, this china piece, which will be, you know, display area as well, right. from some of the other living spaces. And it will actually draw you into this room. Well, that's one of the things I think a lot of times people forget in these open floor plans like we're working with here, is you need those rooms to flow. You need to be able to, what am I going to be looking at? Mm -hmm. I don't want to be looking at an un unpleasant sight. You know, I want to mm -hmm. see a pretty, so I like the position for that china a cabinet. Okay, this island looks huge. How big is this? Well, it says it's 10 feet right there. Woo! So we wow. have to make sure we have a slab that will uh, accommodate it. Ah. Uh, what you can't really see here, it is sort of a work island table, and uh -huh. the backside is bowed so that um, your your guests and your family so this are just out totally, on this side here. Um, are not going to be feeling like they're sitting at, like ducks Joe's in a row. Yeah. Life, huh? uh, so it, it'll be a little softer. Uh -huh. But in the in the island, we also have a steam oven and a, and a warming drawer, which would be uh, a good place for those um, and also you're not when people are visiting the kitchen or they're just not seeing a sea of appliances but the appliances are 
uh, place critically for for uh, use. For use, right? Okay. I like that. I see we've got a prep sink here in the mm -hmm. island, which gives us two work areas. I like that. Okay, this is for my creativity center, and I'm loving how many cabinets I'm seeing in here. Well, we've kind of created this as stations. You know, you have a craft station, you have um, a sink. Um, wet station and then of course you have laundry uh, and that, that these different stations don't intermingle which yeah. I think is important you don't want to get something on your your fresh laundry and and I believe you're getting a, a large table for the center for your uh, right I, I found a large old farm table that I'm going to use right in the center it'll be kind of like a desk and another work surface you know and kind of contrast into there I like the beadboard because that'll go great with the farm table there um, now, this is designed as custom too? No, ac well, yes, I've actually designed it as custom, and um, it's up to you as to how far you're going to take cha -ching, it. Cha-ching, cha-ching, <laughs> huh? Okay. But this is designed for function, and you know, you just, um, I think you're just going to really enjoy this room. Well, I love what I'm seeing right here. I want to take a really good look at them and kind of work my brain around how would I work, where would I chop, where would I cook, where would I stand in all this area. I see that you have brought knob selections are ready for us to look at? Yes, yes. This is kind of like the jewelry for the uh, the kitchen. We're talking about doing a, um, a beaded instant construction cabinet and also a shaker door style. So, but to not just make it look like a, a, a farmhouse or totally vintage, I'm recommending you using these uh, long rectangular pulls that I think really? bring you it into a- Really, so contemporary. Well, I think it's, and it's gonna be great. You have some big long drawers uh -huh. and pull outs. And I think these, this will be a wonderful at addition to the, the look to, to bring you into today, along with um, a, a knob on the doors. Okay, and in the laundry room, we'll go to something a little bit yeah, more casual. Yeah, well, a little more casual, a chrome piece that kind of looks like a laundry room. You know, we're, yeah. we're allowing it to be what it is. Well, I, I think I'll have to think about that for a little bit. I mean, you know, kind of wrap my hand and my mind around that handle and see if that'll work for me. But I love what I'm seeing here, and I can't wait till the kitchen is done. Well, I, I talked wait. to the cabin maker today, and he's got just about all the boxes complete, so they'll be installed soon. All right, thanks, Janine. It looks great. I'm going to go check on the flooring, guys. As you can hear, they're really going to town. Great. Thanks, Thank you Janine. so much. Before Janine could design my dream kitchen and bathrooms, I had to select my appliances and fixtures. I decided, why not just make a day of it? And I headed out to the design center. This is the south end area of Charlotte. Now, it used to be a light industrial area, but because it's really close to downtown and the new light rail system, it's become a very trendy location for young professionals and the design community. Sun Zero of Wolf's showroom is in this building, and that's our first stop for today. Hi guys. Good morning. Hi, Hi Vicki. How you doing, Dan? I'm great. Good, Dan. Good morning. You know, I'm always sending my clients in here to pick out appliances for their kitchens, and you guys always take such good care of them. But today, I am here to pick out my appliances for my new kitchen. Well, that's Enjoy. exciting. Yeah, Come on, I'm in. excited about that. Come on in. Vicki, this is our live uh, performance kitchen. You've been here for some oh, of our events. Oh, I've had events. some great meals in here with your chef. They're fantastic. Absolutely. It's, it's a great time to be had by all. But this is a great place to start looking at the various ranges. This is the all gas range. Gas burners, gas oven, real workhorse of, of a product. Uh -huh. And it's, it's still very popular. Okay. But Probably the more popular of the two would be the dual fuel range, which is over here. This is an electric self-cleaning oven. Okay. Sealed gas burners on the top, hence the, the dual fuels. Now, I've, from what I've heard a lot of people tell me that are really great chefs, is that it takes a little bit of you know, experience to handle a gas oven. Right. The electric is more user friendly? The gas is much more hands-on. It's You have to do a lot more checking. Uh, Convection ovens come with a temperature probe, with timers, with all kinds of things. Yeah, well, I think I've already made my decision there. <laughs> unattended cooking, absolutely. Okay, what about griddles and those kinds of things? Griddles and grills are options on either style of range. You uh -huh. can have uh, infrared griddles, infrared grills, and we even have a French top, which is uh, a very interesting piece of equipment. This, How does that work? This is has a single gas burner, and it spreads the heat just by the thickness of the steel. So you change your temperature just by moving your pans around. 
Okay, now that sounds like you've got to really know what you're doing next. It's, well. it's, it's probably more for the chef-trained person, but we, we do have it uh, available. So it, it's not the number one pick, but it's we, it's, we it's certainly It's good for the real hardcore Absolutely. cooks. Huh? Now, these are all large ranges because this is a commercial-looking area, and right. you're, you're trying to feed a lot of people and demo in here. What about different sizes? Are all these kind of options available in smaller ones they as are. well? They are. They're available in 30 through a, a 60 like we have over here. Okay. We also have range tops, cook tops, and wall ovens. So, you know, whatever combination is gonna work according to how many people are cooking, the scale of the And kitchen. you have to know that when you start doing your designing, it's Absolutely. like, okay, do I want a range or do I want some stack of right. wall ovens? You know, one of the things that I'm hearing a lot of, and one of those demonstrations that you were talking about, I saw in action, is the steam oven. Absolutely. This is, this is our uh, new favorite piece of equipment. Uh, it's, a, it's a piece of equipment whose time has really come. Uh, it offers steam functions, which great for vegetables and seafoods, things where you don't add any fat. Also, it has convection features, so you can cook in it just like a regular oven. Then combination convection and steam together. Great wow. baked breads, roasted meats with a crispy crust, very tender inside. You can cook appetizers. So. You know, well, it is a, it you, is know, I love, you know how much I enjoy entertaining. And so I, when I saw this at the demo that night, I said, I think that that's something I really need to incorporate into my kitchen, you know, to be able to have that versatility. Right. It's, it's a great piece to add to a kitchen uh -huh. or when you're planning, it, it certainly deserves a place. Now, are people replacing their uh, standard microwaves with a steam oven? This will do a lot of the features of a microwave. The most important is rehydrating a plate of food. You get an amazing, you know. For leftovers and that right. kind of thing. There's a few things probably that you'd still, if you still microwave popcorn, you get the <laughs> cup of coffee, et cetera. So, okay. But, you know, for your general purposes, this is, this is a great addition to the kitchen. Okay. Okay, the other part of the puzzle with the kitchen is the refrigeration system. Right. Let's go look at that. It's okay. down this way. Okay, great. Vicki, this is a great place to start and look at your refrigeration choices. This is a 36. It's stainless over under probably one of the more popular models that we sell. It is also available in panels. So have you and Janine decided whether you're doing stainless? I want to do stainless. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very timeless. Uh -huh. Still probably the number one selection. Probably the next one up from this, not size-wise, but feature-wise, you have a 48. There are also 42s. This one has a great feature of ice and water inside the door. Okay, I like that because sometimes, you know, the ice in the door will come down onto the floor. It, it can. And uh, I like this of being inside like this. And the lines are cleaner. It, it is, uh -huh. for, uh, particularly for panels. Although, uh, this, is, this is a fairly clean look. Uh -huh. This is having the dispenser on the front. This is a great example of you know putting panels on your unit. It makes it uh, seamless with All the, the adjacent way down the wall. cabinetry, mm -hmm. right? Right. Here's another popular option. Uh, this is a French door for people with a kitchen island. You have a much shorter door swing, so you can still have. Right. It doesn't take up as much space right, there. Right. Right. Uh -huh. Freezers below. Ice is accessible right here. Okay. This gives you as you know the the wide space that. That you for me, like. I like because I have pa uh, party trays and I can just slide the whole thing in there. Our deli trays, right? That's a nice feature. Large casseroles down here, cookie yeah. sheets, you know, things to get. Well, you know, to. sometimes the side by sides, which I've had before, I can't get a turkey in there or I can't get a right. pizza box. Right. So this would have a better option for me with that, right? It it does. Okay. It's, it's a great pick. And again, this is also stainless or panels. Okay. So. Well, you know, you've shown me a lot of options today. Right. And so I have to kind of get my head around those. Right. I know now how my clients feel after they come in here. And, you know, I've got an idea, though, of what I like. So I think I'll get back with Janine. We'll work through some things. And then I'll have to come back and just fine-tune everything. Absolutely. Well, we look forward to you coming back. Thanks, hon. I'll see Thank you soon, you. I hope. Bye-bye. Lots of choices to be made when it comes to kitchens. I not only had to select the appliances, I also needed sinks and faucets. Our next stop today is just around the corner to Ferguson's showroom. They will have a great selection of plumbing fixtures.
Hi, Suzanne. Hi, Vicki. How are you today? I'm doing great. Great to doing see great. you, as always. So what brings you in today? Well, I'm finally at the point where I need to make some decisions about what kind of fixtures I want for the bathrooms, the sinks for the kitchens, the faucets, so I thought you could probably help me out. Most definitely. We have lots of great new products and features. You can see the new finishes, touch, and see some of the new functionality that they've offered for the bathroom and the kitchen today. Well, you know, I'm always telling my clients, you know, get out, go places, look, and, and this showroom is a wonderful sense of inspiration for me, you know, every time I come in here. So I thought, well, let's go and do something for my house this time. So show me <laughs> what you exciting. got. That's exciting. Well, let's go take a look. Okay. Vicki, let's start upstairs. Okay. This will be a great option for us to begin looking at plumbing fixtures, which right. will be a main portion of your entire home. Okay. To start, I'd like to look at this new, me, new toilet. Looks very different than the toilet. This is definitely to very different. It has it with a remote control. And let me show you just some of the exciting okay. features. For example, automatic opening seat that you control. Oh, it has a heated seat, has bidet, it can play music for you. Uh, Lots uh, of great options. In okay, this now one. my question is, so if I walk away, does the lid go down? It will. It will automatically close. Because you don't have to train them in in your house. That's so right. For you. That's right. It's all Well, I think set. that's a great idea, but a little too fancy for me right now. <laughs> all right. I'm looking for something a little more traditional. Okay. Okay. Well, let's move over here to actually this tub. I'd love to show you this great new option that they have. Oh, this is really pretty. A jacuzzi? This is actually an air tub. What's an air Which tub? is also known as a bubble massage. It's more of like an effervescent kind of champagne bubble relaxation bathing experience so rather than the old jets. Of champagne the, taste, caviar. That's right. There you go. Exactly. I get it. Well, my granddaughters, I think, would really love this. But, they would. you know, I've decided in this house I'm not going to put a tub in. Okay. I'm going to go instead for a larger shower and make mm -hmm. it a steam shower. That's great. We have lots of different steam options, and they're wonderful for health and relaxation. This is it. Oh, is that pretty? Isn't it gorgeous? So it has traditional lines, but it's also available on multiple finishes. So you can kind of jazz it up, if you will, and play off the space with a great design. Well, I'm in, in my laundry room. I'm making it a very large space. In fact, I'm calling it the Creativity Center. And I'm going to have a sink in there. And I'd love to have a big farm sink like this with just one big basin. Mm -hmm. um, and so the colors, I'd like something bright. Is that available? Oh, that definitely is available. Okay, well, we'll have to check out those colors. But okay, for great. my kitchen, I'm thinking stainless steel. What are my options there? Stainless steel is a perfect option for the most used appliance in the kitchen. Okay. Let's come over here and I'll show you some different options. All right, lead the way. All right. Well, Vicki, if you like that apron front option, they're uh -huh. also available on stainless steel, as you see over here. Well, that's real pretty. Mm -hmm. It looks really different, though, doesn't it? It really does. Yeah. But also, we have some double bowl options. They're actually undermount which is extremely popular right now, especially if you're doing a solid surface countertop. For example, you have this. That's pretty. Kind of more mm -hmm. rounded edges. Uh -huh. Or if you're looking for something a little bit more organic in the lines, this is another option, undermount, double bowl equal. Well, you know, I'm, I'd like a larger bowl, maybe not okay. as big as the farm sink bowl, but I'd like a larger one for pots and pans, like pasta pans and all. Oh, great. So, well, take a look at this option. This is a great option, a little bit more squared off in design, but uh -huh. it also includes a great washboard basin. So depending on how you, so you utilize- So you rinse dishes instead of right here? I love exact, that feature, because I like to do exactly that. I clean up right. as I cook, you know? That's exactly right. right. It also comes with a lot of great accessories. For example, this cutting board. Oh, is, is that available. beautiful? Uh, isn't it gorgeous? It's too pretty to cut on, though. I'd be like, oh my I gosh. <laughs> but that is really pretty. But it's wonderful, because it gives you all the tools right there at your sink. So uh -huh. as you're prepping, you have it available. Well, I like that idea. That's a really nice one. Now, I'm going to have also a prep sink in the island. Okay. Um, do most of these have a coordinating piece to go in the island? They so most whatever it is, I do. Yep. They just call it, come in a little bit smaller sizes, and they're perfect because they coordinate directly. Okay. Well, I guess you have to wait to pick out your faucet till you know which way you're going to go, right? Correct. How come this whole process is <laughs> this begets this begets that? That's yeah. exactly right. It all is a process, but it's kind of checking off the checklist, if you will. So let's look at your sinks first, and then we'll move on to the faucets because there's several different options, finishes, and form and function there as well. Well, you have got so many different ideas. I think I'm going to just use this as an exploratory trip. I'm going to go around and browse through your showroom. I know you got kitchen areas set up and look at how they all come and then once I can center in on it, then we'll start doing that checklist. That sounds okay? great and that's exactly what we're here for. Right. It's for you to feel in touch, get ideas and really hone in on what you really yeah, need. Sometimes to too many ideas but oh, no. you go crazy. <laughs> that's Thanks exactly and I'll right. check back with you a little sounds later. Sounds great Vicki, thank you. 
I still have lots of decisions to make, but at least now I have a good idea of what's available so I can start to narrow down my selections. Check out your community to see if there are design showrooms like this one that we've visited today. Even if you have to travel to another city, it's well worth the trip. No online experience can be as beneficial as getting in to actually touch, feel, and talk with experienced professionals like Suzanne and Jan. But enough shopping for today. I need to get back to the house and check in with my flooring contractors. Well, I'm getting kind of covered with drywall dust today, but I couldn't care less because I am thrilled. What a great treat. The floors are going in. I get walls and floors in the same week. I am very happy. Now, originally in the house, there was carpet in all three bedrooms. Didn't want that. We tore it out. So in the two guest rooms, the floor installers have put down new hardwood floors. Now, the nice thing about this is that in the other part of the house, it was floored with just traditional size red oak flooring like this. It's tongue and groove, fits right together. So it was easy for them to patch and match up the flooring I already had. Now, in here, it's no big problem. They just run the boards and they butt right up against the hallway and they can keep moving on. But in the other areas of the house where the floor was pieced, where we took down walls, they're going to have to do a thing that's called feathering or fingering in. What I mean by that is they go back to the beginning of a board and they will actually chisel and pull that board all the way out. And then they'll take the new piece of flooring and slide it into place. So it's just really woven back together. It's seamless. You can't even tell what's going to be the new and the old. And it doesn't matter what color the existing floor is because once they're through installing it all, they'll come back in and they're going to sand it all down. I'm going to pick out any color of stain that I want. And then they'll stain the floors and then they'll put a final coat to protect the floors over the top of that. The great thing about working with real true hardwood floors is they can be refinished over and over and over again. So that's one of the features that I like about it. Now when it comes time though for my master bedroom, I decided I wanted to change. Now this is just an absolutely beautiful wood product. These are actually, this is actually flooring that is made from Italian olive trees. I was just in Tuscany a couple of weeks ago and I fell in love with all of the beautiful uh, olive gardens that were over there. Now the government doesn't allow them to cut down olive trees. They're only allowed to major prune them every 350 years and they can cut down olive trees when they get to be 700 years old because then they quit producing olives. That's a really old tree. Now that means that these trees would have been growing in the Italian Renaissance period. Pretty impressive, huh? And these are going to be my bedroom floor. The nice thing about it is because the trees grow so slow, they have this beautiful tight graining pattern on them that's absolutely beautiful. Then it also means, though, that these floors are really durable. They are three times harder than regular oak floors. So that means they're really durable. And because they grow so slow, they really, it's really hard to penetrate them with any kind of moisture or insects. So they're just almost self, you know, non-destructible. And that's pretty good in my house, believe me. So in the master bedroom, we're going to be installing the olive wood. In the other areas, it's going to be in the red oak and then refinish it all. And then I'll end up with beautiful hardwood floors throughout my entire house. You know, for me, floors, walls, I am one happy camper. Well, it's time for our weekly update from our contractor, Ben Mandon of Andrew Roby Construction. Now, doesn't that seem like we ought to have a theme song rolling in or something? Yeah, I would hope by now I'd have a theme song or maybe a banner or some fireworks going off or something. That'd be pretty nice. You know, they're on the show just a few times and then they want their own theme song. I tell you, <laughs> I don't know what. Well, you know, I've been in the house, you know, seeing some of the work going on and sure. I'm dirty and you're clean. What's wrong with this story? Well, see, I've got the guys in there actually uh, getting the work done. Uh -huh. um, they're making it happen. But it is a good sign of progress that, uh, that, that the homeowner can get dirty. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> well, I am really pleased with the progress that we've got good. going on here. And what is on our next agenda? What's the next forecast of work? Um, what we need to do is finish up all the cabinets, finish up the trim, uh, get countertops measured, get those installed, so we can start painting. Uh, once the painting's done, the final trades can come in, start to put on the the jewelry of the house, start to put in the uh, 
the light fixtures, the plumbing fixtures, and really get it get it looking nice. Well, you know, the plumbing fixtures have been setting in the lobby of my office building now for a couple of months. Sure. And so I'd like to get those out, you know, and get them into the house so we can use them. Absolutely. Um, you know, I love what's going on on the outside. I love mm -hmm. the grill here. It turned out really perfect. I know originally we wanted to try to put it on the other side of the walkway, but we couldn't get the variance, you know, from the county that we yep. wanted. But this turned out to look really well in, in the space it's in. We still need to do the stucco, though, on mm -hmm. the back of the Correct. house. So I'm hoping that's going to be going up any day now. Yeah, it's and, real close to getting ready to go. And then, you know, once we've got that, there's still work outside to be done. But, you know, I'm more concerned with the inside. That means I can move in. Sure. And then this can take its own time. How much longer before Dave and the guys can get over here and start doing their landscape work? Um, they're going to be next. I'd say in the next couple of weeks, get over here and start getting the landscaping in. We always want to wait till the end. Um, to do the planting so they don't get damaged. While well, guys, there's still a lot of foot traffic coming in and out yeah. of the house. And last thing we want is to get the, all the new grass and plantings damaged. Okay, well, I'm excited to see it all come together, as you know, and I'm sure you're excited to probably get off this project and move on <laughs> to the next one that you want, especially if I don't give you your own theme music, right? Exactly, yeah. exactly. Well, you guys have done a great job. It's been a lot well, of fun, you. and I really appreciate it, and I think it's really coming together great, just like I knew it would when we started working together. Absolutely. So the faster we can move it along, the happier the camper I am. That's how it always is, absolutely. We appreciate it, Vicki. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you. Thank you. Well, my head is just swimming with all the beautiful things that we saw today. You know, as a homeowner, it's my job, though, to make all of those product selections so that they can be ordered and the materials delivered here on site in time for the contractors to install them. As you can see, we have a lot of work to do before I can move into my dream home. I hope you'll join me next time right here on For Your Home so you can see how it all comes together. Do you want to know more about the projects today or our guests? Visit us on the web. You're going to find great behind the scenes shots, streaming video, project ideas. We even have an e-newsletter with tips and ideas. It's foryourhome.com.